Welcome to React Miss, and we are reacting for the new castmates of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 15. Our fans are probably not gonna like me saying that. Mama gave you reference, Mama gave you fashion. This is a 10. She a mess, and I'm here for it. Hi, little Welcome to React Miss, and we are reacting for the new castmates of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 15. I am so excited. All last week I said, they coming soon. I know they coming soon, and they're here. Cue that music. And don't fuck it up. What made you want to start your YouTube channel? Wanted to be, so I started doing YouTube as something therapeutic for myself. Here you go! <coughs> oh, it's one clap. <laughs> <laughs> you got um, I recently had an interview with Scotty by Nature. Go check his channel and watch that right now. It was so awesome. I had so much fun. Um, and you guys got to know a little bit more about me. And thank you for everybody that sh that never heard about me before and checked out that interview and and added me and subscribe is now part of the House of D. Um, yeah, you're part of the house of Yes, you're part of the house of D right now. So if this is your first time here, definitely like, comment, and subscribe and be part of the house of D. We have plenty of room. That's my new catchphrase. That's my new catchphrase. Ha ha ha. But anyway, um, so if for you guys that know me, I watch all the renditions of Drag Race. Um, UK, US, Canada versus the world, which is eating right now. Um, I also watch Dragula. I want to watch um, Drag Den. And I low-key want to watch Cam Kiki Wire, is it called? About the um, the comedy queens? <coughs> the comedy on um, drag queen camp thing? I would love to watch. I'll, I'll try to get into that. I don't know. That doesn't look like my cup of tea, but who knows? Um... But definitely, season 14 was, wasn't was my favorite, but it was cool. But I'm definitely going to just um, check into season 15 and see what they, they're giving. Some queens that I know that's there, because I always get a spoiler. I always know who's coming up. Um, I have, you know, people that tell me these things. Um, I know Sugar and Spice is there. I heard of them. Those, um, I think they do TikTok. This twin that um, are drag queens. Sasha Kobe, the, the mother of Carrie Kobe. Um, right? The mother of Carrie Colby. As well as, um, oh, I just saw her. Miss Fierce something. I for, I have, I actually have her on Robin the Fierce, or Fierce Robin, or something like that. I have her on Instagram. Last year, the only person I knew was Cornbread. But anyway, without further ado, I know you guys are tired of hearing me rambling. Let's get into these queens. Oh, wow, it's like a, like a race. Who is this? Is this Willow Pill? Yes, it is. Come on, Willow Pill. This we win our season 14. I'm glad she won. She wasn't my pick, but I didn't want Lady Cameron to win, but Willow Pill did. Pause. Oh, this is a Cobra. Willow Pill, you are serving mama. Congratulations for her for being trans, coming out as a transgender woman. She do look like Evie Ali daughter. <laughs> Amethyst. Amethyst. Alright, this is cute. Oh, she's like a little um club girl. Um, she looks like, um, Jackie Cox, kind of. Come on, Lashes. She's cute. Anitra. <coughs> Anitra. Dude, y'all in y'all bodysuits, but it's bodysuit, it's bodysuit. Okay, mama, I don't hate the outfit so far, but y'all don't like, y'all don't like to wear no titties. Yo, yo, titties, bitch. Finally, a queen that can actually vote. Since you're a dancing queen, I'm feeling this. Aura Mayari. Mayari, I like this outfit. This is my favorite outfit so far. Queen, yes, we need more Asian queens. We need an Asian winner. Well, North Asia, if that's if that's a thing, because Raja was a winner and she is Asian. Irene Dubois. Irene Dubois. Oh, this hair, Mama. Y'all in the bodices and bodices. It's cute. They're cute. Nothing's gagging, gagging me, but. Jax. Okay, Jax. Jax is the black girl. Oh, she's a dancer. Oh, she almost fell though. Everybody got on these body, these um very similar, like um chaps. I guess that was the the um category. So where y'all getting these names from? Miss Lucy, this jacket. My girls look good. I'm not gonna take away from nobody. She's wearing some titties. Lux Noir London. Oh, Lux. Brown skin girl. You're pretty just like pearls. Yes, God. I wanna see what this, her dragon tails. <laughs> dragon tails. Malaysia Baby Doll Fox. Oh my God, these names. Malaysia Baby Doll Fox. Oh, I like this outfit, Malaysia. She thought she could be Silky's daughter. Marcy. 
Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. <laughs> Come on, um, Brady Bunch reference. Oh, this is cute. It's not only giving me Marsha Brady, but it's also giving me very much Harashuku girl, very Japanese um, fashion, very 90s. Clueless, not only the 50s but the 90s as well. Mistress Isabel Brooks. How many girls they got? 15? This is giving me very much Eureka O'Hara. Everybody looks good. If I was to like narrow it down and be like, I would like the fabric to be a little bit more bigger. Princess Poppy. Oh, you look good, Miss Princess. This hair is hairing. Come on, reveal. She looks like she may surf this season. Robin Fierce. This is who I, I know. Yes. I don't. I have her on IG, but I don't see her a lot. IG be doing whatever they want to do. I like this Miss Robin. Y'all are voguing down. She's part of the ballroom scene. Selena Estities. Not Selena Estities. I just love you for your name. Selena's. I like this. And the titties is out. Oh, the nip nips is out too. Okay, she doing too. Okay, hey, come on, body yaddy yaddy. Megan the Stallion knees. Even though Megan be lower. Sasha Colby. Sasha Colby, mother. Sasha Colby is trans, right? This outfit is nice too, Miss Sasha. Spice. And not not the one that I like. Yes, good. I think sugar and spice are gonna go far. Spice, this is everything. I'm liking this outfit. Sugar. Trans? Yep. Because drag race has never been bigger. I hope so, because last season it wasn't bad, but it wasn't the best. Artemis, let's look at her outfit. This is not bad. It's not my favorite, but, um, mm. I'll give this a 7 out of 10. Anitra. Anitra, I like this a lot, Miss Anitra. I, what I don't like is that phone keep ringing every goddamn minute. <laughs> Ooh, I would have elevated if she had, like, like, a shawl or something above her head, covering her head. I'll give this an 8 out of 10. Miss Aura. Um, my, ooh, Mayari. I do like this a lot. But y'all in the no titties. Why is she giving me, um, Link from, um, Legend of Zelda? <laughs> All she need is the hat. This is a 9 out of 10 for me. Iron the Bose. Oh, this is a, this is, and now I'm looking at it like standing still. Miss Eye of Reen. Oh, this is a 10 for me. Hey, Jack. Now I'm looking at this. I do not like this. I don't like them shoes. The wig is not bad. Mm-mm. This a 5 for me. Lucy La, 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 oh, Lord. The jacket <coughs> is what elevates it for me. This is a 9 out of 10 for me. I feel like it's missing just something. Miss Lux New York London. I actually like this a lot. I don't know, the shoes, ooh, if she had shoes that were like simple or were blue fur, it would have been a 10 for me. Like if she had made covers for them shoes and they still would have been heels, that would have been everything. But it's definitely a 9 for me. Miss Malaysia Baby Doll Fox. I'm not finding anything I don't like. The hair could have been up for me, but that's it. So Miss Malaysia, you get a 9 as well. I would have liked if the hair was to, to show her face. Like at least a little ponytail. Bloop! Like you could still have the hair down but have some of it up. Like this. Miss Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. I'm not gonna lie. Oh wait. How do y'all? I'm not gonna lie. Miss Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. This is simple but uh, it's polished. I'm giving her a 10. I'm sorry. She got some calves on her. She's definitely giving you um, pop culture references. Not just one but several. Mistress Isabel Brooks. Do you get an 8 for me? bottom part I'm not fancy and something but the, the boobs are out I would have liked if they fit no well, they look okay I don't mind the featherness the makeup is not bad the hair see this is what I'm talking about if I wanted Miss Malaysia to have some hair like that Princess Poppy she not standing up but I did like her outfit because she did that reveal I give Miss Princess a 10 Miss Robin Fierce I wish if she had these things also on her legs or instead of this 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 heel, some boots. That would have been some that would have been nice. So this is an eight out of ten for me. Cause it's a biker outfit, but then it's like the, the, the heels don't match it. Well they're all dressed like bikers anyway. Selena Estides. <laughs> um it's an eight for me. She needs to take some things off. She just needs to take some things off. It's not bad. The color scheme isn't bad, but Miss Titties. Um, need to take them things off. Keep the titties, but take everything else off. Sasha Kobe. Hmm. 
I like the hat is my favorite thing. It's giving me very much 70s. Very bad, Albert. Hey, hey, hey. I gave it a 9. I, it's something missing for me. I know her fans are probably not going to like me saying that. Kobe, I'm going to need a, I, I need some elevation. The category definitely looks like, you know, motorsport. Put that game on sword, all that shit. But, um, it's a 9 for me. I do love the hat. Spice, this is a 10. I'm sorry, y'all. 10 out of 10 for me. Spice is serving. This is polished down. She's giving you Spice Girl. I think that's probably reference meets very much punk in the... Are they British? That's what I want to know. I want to hear them speak. Very much punk from the um from the UK. The shoes, I know they're not heels. And I do like these. She shoes go with everything here. She's giving you punk rock princess. She's giving you goth makes a little bit of fashion. She's giving you very much 10 out of 10. Miss Sugar. I didn't hate her outfit, but it wasn't really. It looked like she's wearing um, a, a, a cake. Um, But it is what it is. Miss Sugar, I'm giving you an 8 for your cake. And not these cakes. But the cake, the cake looking dress. So it's premiering on MTV um, and January 6th at 8 p.m. I'm here for it. Um, <clears throat> what's I about to say? Yeah. Um, so let's um, analyze all these, these girls' looks. Um, let's talk about my favorite, favorite look. I want to say it's Spice. It may not be as elevated or dragged out, but that thing was so, it looked, I like to see what my drag queens look like. They can wear that anywhere. So that definitely was a 10. She was giving me very much Spice Girl references, um, goth, punk rock, um, British, girl, gal. That's what she was giving me. I very much like that. As well as I like Princess Poppy is very polished. It wasn't a lot, but it was very beautiful, and the, the, the reveal at the end definitely got me. I also like Marsha, 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 as, same thing as Spice. Simple, but Mama gave you reference, Mama gave you fashion, and it looked well together, put in polish. She gave you Marsha from the um, Brady Bunch. She also gave you very much um, anime um, fashion type stuff with the, with the big old backpack and whatnot. I was here for that. Um, who else I, I gave a 10 to? Miss Irene the Boss. What she had on, she got a tan from me. I forgot what she had on, but I did like also um Aura, um Sasha Sasha, Sasha Kobe. I did like um Lux New World London. I did like Miss Malaysia. I'm I'm I might like me some Malaysia. She's reminding me of Silky right now. She's definitely reminding me of Silky. And it's like probably like three or four black girls and I'm here for that. But my overall favorite look for the um, reveal was Spice. And my least favorite was um, Jax. I didn't like, it was too much things that didn't coincide with each other. I didn't, I didn't like it at all. But um, she, Jax is my least favorite look. Um, and Sugar is my favorite. I mean, sorry, Spice is my favorite look. So let's get into the Meet the Queens and see... If I like them even more. Again, how much times they move? They move from Logo to VH1 now MTV. <laughs> oh, there's 16. <clears throat> Jax. Selena says titties. Oh, Malaysia, you look good. Ooh, Lux, I love this. Sasha Kobe. Lucy Lodus, Loduka. Anitra. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. She's giving me lemon. Robin Fierce, I know who that is. Mistress Isabella Brooks. Artemis. Artemis, I like this look. Sugar, Spice. Spice, I might like. Aro, my, my, ooh, Lord Jesus. Irene DeBose. She's giving me very much Crystal Meth, your princess. Okay. So. She got 16 queens. This is the most she ever had on a season. Oh, Lord, we're going to have another long season. Listen, I don't mind the long seasons because I didn't mind season 13 because 16 season thir 13 was really good. But don't make it too long if it's somewhat born like like 14 all right anyway let's get in finally are we gonna meet the queens artemis Hi, I'm amethyst, from amethyst and, oh, I Jesus. and i it's a really like deep personal meaning my birthstone okay but that's not that deep but amethyst is funny oh i like this ring would consider myself a comedy queen first really, i see it i see the comedy what's wrong with your nose whatever. i like big noses love <laughs> Like what? It's right up Stop! Your nose is perfect. <laughs> All right, so that was um, we're gonna get to you, um, Anitra, Nestra. I think you're pretty. Um, Amethyst. 
Okay, she's funny. She's really funny. She made me laugh. She made me laugh, so that's a plus. So I'm, I'm low-key excited to see what she's going to give. All right. All right, off to a good start. Now we have, um... Anestra. <laughs> oh, ooh, the, the voice. City, and I'm here. What? What do I, I'm, ooh, I like that I star. She do look like Carrie Kobe a little bit. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm looking at these outfits, too. Um, okay, so... Amethyst outfit, um... I'm giving it a 7 <laughs> out of 10. Who she got? She got beef with mistress? <laughs> She's silly. The girls are funny this season. These interviews are long. This outfit is a 10 for me, though. Alright, so Miss Anestra. I gave her a 10 out of 10 for the outfit. And she's funny. The girls are funny this season. Aro Mayari. Tina Moon Goddess. Okay. Born in the Philippines, grew up in Chicago, and now I live in Nashville, Tennessee. And I love chicken fried rice. I like this. Um, <laughs> I know that I'm the best one in Nashville, so they're trying to blow up behind me. For acting over the oh, I thought it was like Aura. She looks like <laughs> Queen Kong. The strangest thing about me is that I got circumcised in third grade. <laughs> Girl. Okay, so that was Aura Mayari. They're using the C word a lot. <laughs> um, she looked nervous. She looked nervous. Let's see what she gives. This is a 10. She do look like an alien. My drag is really inspired by sci-fi. I'm ready for it. She gives me a drag of a tease too. Your, not feeling anything but my emotions. I love her. Her personality is everything. Best interview so far. Personality coming out her ears. I think she's funny. I think she's funny. And her outfit is a 10 out of 10. Both her outfits are 10 out of 10. Polished down. Personality. Mama has a character. Mama is different. I'm here for it. Miss Irene Dubrose for the win so far for me. All right, this is Jax. I am from Astoria, Queens, but originally yes, Queens. A fun little play off of Jax from Mortal Kombat. Mm. You know, this is hyper mask season's twist was no one went home. So for all I know is that we're all going home the first episode, and we're just gonna <laughs> battle royale it out. All right. Oh, Jack. I like in Jax a little bit more. Um, I gave the outfit an 8 out of 10. Let's see how she what she gives. I don't know. For some reason, I think she's going to go home first. I hope I'm wrong. I definitely hope I'm wrong. I'm here for everybody black. Definitely am. But, um, okay. I'm rooting for Jax. I just hope she brings it. She does sound athletic like she's about to fight. And I'm here for that. But, um, let's continue. It's Lucy La Luca. And I'm a construction worker by day and a drag queen. Hard Construction drag, worker? Wait, hold on. Really Mommy is polished. The thing about me is that I love slasher movies. They are my absolute favorite. Mm -hmm. I literally watch one every single day. And the gorier, the better. Give yeah. me blood, girl. My top three favorite slasher films are Friday the 13th Part 6, Friday the 13th Part 4, and Friday the 13th Part 1. Classic. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at this ranch. Okay. Mama's waist is snatched. Is. So that is Miss Lucy La, La Duca. Um, oh, wait. Okay. I gave her a 10 out of 10 for her outfit. I like her. Oh, she might be a top competitor. I like her. I still think Miss Iron Dubois is my favorite, but Miss Lucy, okay, I see you. She looks, she's been in the game for a, long, a while. She looks like an elder. Anyway. Up next is Lux New Orleans London. For a winner who is me. <laughs> I'm just that girl. <laughs> she look gives me banshee. I any other way. So I she sound cocky. Be a than else. She's giving I mean, I me she um June Jambalaya tease when she gonna leave soon. But maybe like the most seatbelts worn on a person at one time. Like now. Yeah. I'll be honest, I'm voting for her cause she black, but eh, she don't interest me that much. No shade. She don't interest me that much. Um, yeah. I gave the outfit a 6 out of 10. Oh, God. I'm over here knocking on a black queen. Um, like the idea, do not like the execution. Um, but I'm excited. I like the hair, by the way. It gave me the, st the stars logo, like as a channel. But, um, yeah. But I want to see what she has to offer. Please 
prove me wrong. Malaysia baby doll fox. Now this I, girl I want to see. You never seen nothing like this before? Yes! I am the Malaysia baby doll, baby doll, baby doll fox. Yes. Like he gave me cornbread too. All right. Let's talk about her outfit now. So I gave it. Uh, I'm gonna give it an eight instead of a seven. Uh, Cause I like that idea. The execution isn't bad, but you see this part right here. I don't mind that it's pink and black. I would have loved if like could have kept the wig um, yellow, but the outline was pink. Then the black. It would have made this pop more. And I don't like the makeup. It looks chalky. But I'm here for Miss Malaysia, though. Do a silent but deadly fart in a room full of people. And, you know, walk away and act like I didn't do it. And just like, probably like, oh my gosh, who did that? Oh, that stinks. That's horrible, Miss Malaysia. Who does that? I'm really competitive with season four with my drag mother, LaShawn Beyond. was born? Listen, I was like, LaShawn Beyond. Really? Okay. Y'all remember LaShawn Beyond? I still think she could have won that thing, but... So that was Miss... Malaysia Baby Doll Fox. Like I said, I gave the outfit an 8. Um, I like that concept. I just wish that the pink... It would be a little bit more pink in the hair to make that... Sash... Um, pop more. Um, she's funny. <laughs> I like her. But you nasty. Stop farting. Nasty self. All right. Um, I would love to see her get far. I would love to see her get far. I would love to see how she would do with the fashions. Um, next up is Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. I'm getting tired. What is up with you? Look like a lot of a lazy eye mama. I'm the prettiest girl in the world. No. Delusion. Hi, she giving me Jasmine Kennedy already. She loves, um, the 50s. She loves very much, um... Oh my god. That like style, say, modish style. She gave me coolest white queen. I like this look. Really beautiful, look by me. Some pretty hilarious oh, she sews. That's a plus. Okay, love Hannah like, <laughs> I could tell, and I don't love, love Hannah Montana. I could tell Loki, I don't know if I'm going to like you or not. Okay, she's giving me kind of Dakota Schiffer. I can hear somebody saying I'm coming for the big girls because she do remind me of Wilma Finger do. Just the way how her hair looks actually Wilma be having that big hair and very much should I say divine look divine very calm comical big girl um, present um, presentation type stuff anyway let's get into Miss Mistress Isabel Brooks actually let's get into a new battery well, love is two Mistress big girls too Isabel. I don't like this outfit it's a bit it, it, I like the idea I don't like the execution it looks like it wasn't made properly I gave it a seven I want to see her stand that's another thing too they sitting down so I can't really critique it that well um, against them standing up and posing in the outfits but it just don't look I don't like how it look on her sitting down the hair, the hair is wigging even though this part needs to like whoop. um I like the the uh, neck piece and the eye I love love the eye makeup Ceiling. And the eyebrows. I want girl like I'm fat but I'm really just big bone <laughs> my heart goes out to the plus size girls. I'm not reinventing the woman this day and age. I would describe myself as old school drag with a modern twist, and that's how I am. Okay, I look, you can see I that. All right, so that is Miss Isabel, Le uh, Mistress Isabel Brooks. I like her. I want to see her get far too. I like her. I didn't like the outfit that much, but they're sitting down, so I look, you can't even judge it properly. But, um, yeah, let's see what she brings. Next up is Princess Poppy. Ooh. Oh my god, Polish. She looks like she's in a JJ. She looks like she's sitting in a piece of gum. I'm good. Backstage, if you want to. Uh. I was born on April Fool's Day. Oh, fellow April. The strange thing about me is that my breasts can always tell when it's going to rain. Yes! Me girl's reference. But what what breasts? Drag inspiration when I was a child was um, Big Mama from Big Mama's house. I had never really known <laughs> that's what I wanted. <laughs> I'm a princess and they always become the queen. Okay. I like that. I'm, I like that little outro. I'm a princess and they always become the queen. Um, I like 
like her. I surprisingly like her. I didn't think she would be that funny, but Mama's Polish. Mama's Polish. Um, up next is Robin Fierce, who I actually um, know from Instagram. Ooh, this voice. I think Robin won't be in the top. Jada in the face. I like this outfit. Looks very, it looks fierce. She gives me Dominique, um, I think what makes me stand out is my from Pose. What's her last name? Jackson. There's probably nothing going on in this mind except me thinking about food. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Bitch, me too. I love Miss Robin Fierce. I'm trying to remember how I found her. I like her. I like her personality. The interview was very fantastic. She's another one of my top. Her and Irene, I'm I'm here for. Her and Irene, I'm definitely here for the both of them. Selena's is titties. Oh lord, this name. She a mess, and I'm here for it. My name is Selena S. Titties. Yes, honey. She is the queen of. I was saying it wrong. Selena's ass titties. It's like you see these ass and titties, basically. <laughs> I'm here for the day. Okay, this outfit is a 10. It's ratchet. I love all things ratchet. Oh my gosh, she's hilarious. I love titties, and there's two of them, and they have nipples. So I mean, hey, I love titties, bitch. What is going on? She is body down, though. That makes me way different than those other bitches. Baby, I've auditioned five times, and look, I made it to the quinceanera, honey, okay? Not the quinceanera. Oh my god. Oh my god. A mess, but I'm here for every piece of Miss Selena S. Titties. Cup, what? But for somebody with the name Selena S. Titties, I don't see no, the titties was covered. Yo, yo, titties, bitch. I needed some big old bazongas like Coco from um, Dragula. Um, only thing is, I feel like she may get a lot of hate because when people see women of color or people of color act quote unquote very loud and boisterous and just full of life they get um labeled as ghetto ratchet ban um, banshee which are considered negative traits and they're really not just because because with that but if that was a white queen they'll get praise that's the only thing i don't want to hurt, want to happen to her but i'm here for all of it i want to see how where she's going she's funny i like miss selena ass titties Shacobi yes, Shaw Shacobi. This is mother right here. Sasha Colby, the Hawaiian goddess herself. Oh, she's and Hawaiian. Your favorite drag queens, favorite drag queen. She um, actually is. Oh, oh she's trans. Yeah, she's trans. And I am the legendary mother of the legendary Carrie Colby. Yeah, we know this. I enjoy a good jumping into splits. I enjoy a good crawl into. Splits. So does every other queen on this damn show, and I'm tired of the splits. Y'all give me a splitting headache. <laughs> Y'all a mess. I love it. This is a long interview. Hers is the longest. Okay, so that was Miss Sasha Colby. Oh, Spice Bitch. A few moments later. So, Miss, I cannot even look at you. So, Miss Sasha Colby, um, definitely one of my tops. I have a feeling this bitch is gonna be one of my another tops too. Um, definitely, Miss Sasha Kobe is, is one of my tops. Um, we've been known about Miss Sasha Kobe for years. We know that Carrie Kobe is her daughter. Um, I gave her outfit a ten out of ten. All right, let's tune the spice. Child. Oh, ten out of ten already. I'm from Long Island, New York. Yes, New York Queen. Ginger, Curry, Jerk. My whole drag is really inspired by the movie Life Size for Tyra Banks. Like, I just want to look like... Really? Oh, she gives me good Georges and got Mick. Okay, so that was Miss Spice. I'm here for her. <laughs> Low-key, I, I want her to... I want her to, um... I don't think she would. I will talk about that, but Miss Spice, I gave her... Ten, both outfits were a 10. Miss Spice is that girl. Her outfit Sugar, is cute too. I think they're on TikTok now. Basically, all that I had in her name was Roxy and the Huh? Why are they doing this? No, don't do that. Okay, so Spice had her interview by herself. Y'all didn't do this to y'all didn't do this to Spice. Don't lose the sugar, man. Come on. Oh, they have the same. They have the same storyline. A story behind how they did drugs. Who is the prettier twin? 
Honestly, I feel like that question is kind of homophobic. But how is the question homophobic? What is that to be like, oh, now I have in the background? Whew, this interview is long, shot. Okay. So that was um, sugar. I like spice better. <laughs> no shade. Um, I actually do like spicy food more than sugary food, but that's something different. Um, yeah, that's the 16 girls of... So that was everybody. Um, who are my favorite? My top four is definitely Spice, Sasha Kobe, um, Robin Fierce, and um, Irene DeBose. My favorite look for um, the interviews um, was Irene DeBose. My favorite look for um, the Meet the Queen, for the um, the reveal was um, Spice. Who I think may win? Irene DeBose may take this, but it could also be Spice. Maybe even Sugar, even I didn't put her in there, but she could be my top five. Sasha Kobe, or maybe, you know, even like um, my girl, Tamisha Iman, you know, she's legend, yes. But when you're a legend, you also have your own way of doing things. And you not winning can still, you can still be it. Like, Tamisha Iman didn't need to win, in my opinion, because she is um, so structured. She already knows what she's doing. And most of the time, the girls that win drag race are girls that are pretty young. Not too, too young, but girls that can be molded. Girls that have a little bit of rough edge. And I think that could be Spice or Sugar. Or, uh, and... But Irene DeBose. Lucy Laceda is good, too. Um, Miss Selena Estetis, hilarious. Um... Princess Poppy, she could be a top as well. Mar, what would I say, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha? But she low key rubbed me the wrong, the wrong, the wrong way. Um, Malaysia, baby doll fox. I want her to take it somewhere. Who do I see, Miss Congeniality? I don't know. It could be Selena as titties. It could be Malaysia. Um, I definitely want to see the other black girls do well, like Jackson and Lux. Um, yeah, but I'm very... Those are my, my top four are definitely... I'm going to repeat them again. Irene Du, Irene du Bulls, so far. Um, of course, the subjects have change. Um, Robin Fierce, Sasha Kobe, and Spice. Those are my top four. Um, this has been my reaction and review of RuPaul's Drag Race reviews, um, as well as the Meet the Queens of Season 16. It's going to be on... Um, MTV Friday January 6th at 8 p.m. and we will be here with a, with some din din and um and some lick lick that sounds gross um but um we're gonna do recorded reactions first then the finale hopefully with a couple people we're gonna do live definitely gonna do the live reactions again and remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We are currently in Vlogmas. Please like a... Guys, watch my Vlogmas um, vlogs. Definitely get into it. And like I said before, I just currently did an uh, interview with Scotty by Nature on his channel for his Young, Fresh, and New segment. It was a blast. Definitely go check him out as well. Blue. A um, lot of things coming in 23rd, 2023. You have no idea, guys. The return of Music Maker Mondays is going to come even bigger and better. As well as a few other things I have in store. More um, workout vlogs. More reaction. The season finale reaction of uh, Wednesday is coming. It's recorded. I just have not gotten a chance to edit it. Um, I'm currently doing reactments and vlogmas. More old school um, Christmas episodes of your favorite shows. Like um, The Boondocks. That's So Raven. Um, Living Single Martin. Coming soon. I promise, promise, promise. I just need time. I've been very, very busy. Um, had a few things I did this weekend. Um, my three year anniversary is coming up. That is January 5th. Definitely gonna set a, um, a live and invite a couple people. Hopefully they do come. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We're currently at 656. Let's get to 670 right now. And 56 or 60? 
six. I, oh, it's we're currently at six hundred and fifty-six. Let's get to six. Hey, six seventy. Twenty more people, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, and get ready for this race. It's gonna be epic. Later. I think season um fifteen is gonna be good. It's gonna be good. And don't fuck it up.